Right. Okay. Hello, YouTube. This is DVD on Show. Episode 28, Part 2. Now, if you haven't watched Part 1 yet, you will... You have missed quite a bit, so I suggest you watch that part before you watch this part. Now, let's pick up where I left off. Today, I am still reviewing the Nintendo Wii. Now, I've already explained about the graphics, controllers, and the hard drive. So, the next thing I want to talk about is the, um... It's the game boxes. Yeah, that may sound a little bit boring, but there's one thing I want to point out. Now, if you remember, when, uh, in the um, GameCube, when when GameCube first came out, the boxes looked a little something like this, like PS2 boxes. But not only were they like PS2 boxes, but they had quite a lot of features that the PS2 boxes had. Firstly, in the top right hand corner, they had a little picture of a memory card and it told you how many memory blocks you need to play the game. Extremely useful feature. Now let's take a look at the Nintendo Wii Box. The on Nintendo Wii Box, they moved it into the top left hand corner, but what, but they've removed the um, block symbol. The block symbol on the GameCube boxes was extremely useful to tell you how much memory space you need to play the game. What are Nintendo thinking? When I buy a game like, like Donkey Kong Jet Racer, I want to know how much memory I'm going to need to play this thing. I don't know what Nintendo were thinking when they designed the new game boxes, but they went ro they went wrong in a big way. I mean, even when you buy the game, most instruction books don't even tell you the, the information you need either. So it's extremely difficult to tell how much memory you're going to need for a certain game without putting it in your machine. So, that's, so the, the new boxes are a bit of a letdown in the way that they're um, presented. Okay. Next, let's go on to um, memory cards. The Nintendo Wii has one has uh, three memory card slots, two for your GameCube, for your GameCube memory cards, and one for your Nintendo Wii memory cards. And, the, and these Nintendo memory cards are extremely small. I've, I've seen three sizes: 512 MB, one gig, and two gig. This is the one gig card. It's the one that I use at the moment. And most of my, I've got quite a lot of stuff on here. Anyway, let's put it in. There we go. Now there's only one memory card slot on the machine. There's only one memory card slot that's the Wii memory card. But well, there's only one problem when it comes to to comes to memory cards. Let me hook up the Wii and I'll try and show you what what the problem is. Give me five. Give me a couple of minutes. Right, I've been Nintendo Wii all hooked up. Told you it wouldn't take that long. Now let's go back to what I was saying. Now the Nintendo Wii has has one memory card slot, and you, when you put the memory card in, now when it comes to loading game save data, basically you go down here to your options menu and your data bank. And the, now when you save your game, all your games are, are directly saved onto your hard drive. Now that means you can't load. Let's say you play a, di a game like Donkey Kong Jet Racer, and you want to load a file for your memory card. You can't load it on the game. You have to go into your in the save data column, go into Wii bit, go into Wii bit, copy the um, memory got from the SD card onto the hard drive, and get rid of the one that's on the Wii menu, you uh, from, from the Wii's hard drive. So. You can't load from Wii memory cards at all anymore. You can still load from GameCube memory cards, but you can't load from Wii memory cards. You have to load from the goddamn hard drive! And the hard drive's far too small. I know I've already mentioned that, but I can't stop mentioning it because it's extremely annoying. Anyway, let's move on to, on to the other features of the Nintendo Wii. Most of these features are extremely pointless and they don't really need to be on this machine. But anyway, let's check it out. 
first thing I'm going to show you is the um, is the me channel. The me channel is a is an extremely good feature. The me channel gives you the ability to create your own little characters. It gives you the ability to create your own characters, and these characters are called me's. This is what I look like. This is David, or the DBT gamer. I've also got my little sister, my big brother, loads of them. Now when it comes to creating a me, there are several things that you can do. You can change the hairstyle, give them a pair of sunglasses, give them a fair colour, give them a name, all that sort of stuff. And using the me in several games. One game that you use them in is the Wii Sports game, which I will review later on in the year. When you're playing Wii Sports, your, your Miis will actually be your characters, and you'll see your Miis playing tennis, baseball, bowling, boxing. So the Miis are an extremely good feature. They're very good feature because of the way that the Nintendo has incorporated them in, in several of their games. Now, the next feature on the on the machine is the Wii Photo Channel. The Wii Photo Channel, it's okay, but I don't really see the point of it. Basically, all it does is that you view the photos from your digital camera, and you can also watch videos on it from your digital cam from your digital video camera, and you can also listen to music for your MP3 player. But that's about it. I feel that the, that the photo channel is a very pointless piece of equipment. I mean, the photo channel is extremely pointless. I don't see why Nintendo put it on the Wii. It's very, very pointless. Now, I'll leave the shopping channel for later because there's a lot of talk about that. Let's go and see which channel's on the Nintendo Wii. The Wii Forecast channel. Oh, where do I begin with this piece of rubbish? Oh, here we go. I really even use this piece of rubbish. The Wii Forecast Channel basically tells you what the weather's going to be like all around the world. It's a very useful feature and a pretty good idea, but I don't see the point of having this on a games console. I mean, if they removed the Wii Forecast Channel, they could make the hard drive bigger. I mean, once you, I mean, once you've got these channels, you can't. There's certain ones which you can delete, and certain ones which you can't delete. Now, so the Wii Forecast Channel, the Wii Forecast Channel is basically just telling the weather. The, new, the Wii News Channel does the exact same thing about if it tells you the, the news that's going out, stuff that's going on in the world. Like, let's say, Princess Diana's been killed again. She'll be... Uh, she'll be on this news channel. Let's say the um, President Bush is taking over the world. He'll be on this news channel. There are several uh, th things that you may find out on the news channel. Basically, it's like the to what's the news on your game system. It's a, it's a pretty pointless channel. I'd rather have more memory space than this. Anyway, YouTube, I'm very sorry about running out of time. So join me in part three of, of my review of the Nintendo Wii. Until then, bye-bye.